All right, so today I'm going to talk about how um, the time I was going to drop out of school. All right, so, you know, sit down in the seat, <laughs> fasten your seat belts, put the seat belts on, check your rear view mirror, and let's get on the time machine and take a take a ride, you know, let's 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 this Get the VCR and the DVD player and rewind. Get your remote control and rewind. We about to go back in time. Let's let's fast forward back to ten years ago exactly. Yeah, let's take it back. Let's rewind. Let's take it back to early 2014. Yeah, the beginning of 2014. So um, I was going to a private school at the time, and um. I didn't like it. I fucking hated it. Um, I went to private school, and you know, I, I I wasn't um I wasn't passing when I was at public school. When it got to like the beginning of twenty thirteen, I started sleeping in class. I stopped doing my work as much because it's like I didn't care no more. It's like I wasn't passing anyway, and plus I was going through some stuff at home. So I just stopped doing my work because it's like when I was trying, I wouldn't really, you know, I wouldn't really pass in any way. So it's like, you know, I might as well just come here every day, you know what I'm saying? Just not do no work, you know, stuff like that. I started sleeping in class and all of that. I just stopped giving a fuck, basically. So um, for the first time, I had got left back. I had got left back and then um, I got sent to private school that following year for my junior year in high school, which I got left back for. Um... My mom been trying to send me to private school in particular um, for some years prior to that because she's one of those people, black women to be exact, she's one of those people that she think every boy need discipline. She think um, out of all the things you should be concerned about, the main thing you're concerned about is him not being, I, I, I guess, a... Um, you know, criminal, it's like I, I wasn't really doing certain stuff. I wasn't a bad child, but regardless, because of the fact that I was a boy, I still needed, you know, some kind of punishment, which they call discipline, but I call this shit punishment. You know, um, at this particular private school, they paddle you. They hit you in the butt with the paddle and all that stuff. And for some reason, she felt like I needed to go there. Um I think I'm going to talk about that, you know, that situation about my mom in another video. But anyway, so let's get to the point. So early, the beginning of 2014, I was still in private school. Um, as it got to the point in my life where I wasn't really caring no more. It's like uh, I kind of had to fight in private school because you got to think I'm in school with a bunch of delinquents. Like, well... Let me rephrase that. The private school that I was going to had a bunch of delinquents. It was kind of like a bad school. It was kind of like most of the majority of the, of the students that was in school with me in, in that private school, it's like they they um they had got put out of school. They got expelled from school. So they got sent to that school instead. It was like maybe like a little step under from um i forgot what you call it when you get a spell school but anyway here yeah, i was in a bunch of school people like that they was getting into crimes they was they went back and forth to juvenile smoke weed all that all that stuff and um i used to i was going to school regular wasn't really i was doing a little just a tad bit better at private school than when i was at public school but I wasn't really wasn't passing that much and um, stopped going to school. Like it went to the point where I stopped going to school for like a like a day or two out of the week. And um, you know, people kept making fun of how I looked. You know, I had to fight. You know, I had to. I remember I had to. You know, fight one time. And oh, um, excuse me, y'all. These my sister fucking my nephews making noises outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but excuse me. But, um, yeah, it's like, I, um, 
I really wouldn't with like I said, I, uh, I stopped going to school for like a day or two, but I still was going. I got picked on by the way I look and um didn't really have no money. Um I'm like seven, I'm seventeen at this point, so it's like my mom even years prior to that she kinda stopped like wanting to you know, um, I guess do shit for me or take care of me, shit like that. I ain't used to get stuff like I used to walk around looking, you know, kind of messed up, kind of dingy. Um, no haircuts, you know, stuff like that. Um, no food in the fridge. Um, I'm barely eating. Um, like I said, getting, getting niggas trying me in school, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. The teacher's not giving the fuck. The teacher's very disrespectful. You know, they could paddle you in there. So, um, you know what I mean? It, it's just... I wouldn't pass it anyway, so I just said, fuck it. I stopped going to school for like a month and a half. I say for about a good 30 days, I stopped going to school. And um, I just didn't really see no purpose for it. I didn't see no purpose for it. And um, I didn't see no purpose for it. So I just stopped going. So when I stopped going, my mama, I was still living with her, of course. And she basically made this little thing where she would, I couldn't come in the house. Like I would have to wake up in the morning and be out for like eight hours as if I was in school, even though I wasn't at school. But like she would make me, like when I wake up, I have to leave the house and I couldn't come back until after three o'clock. And, um, I got a lot of slack for that, man. Like, it just, my family members were telling me that how stupid I was, even though it was one family member in particular, he dropped out of school and didn't nobody say anything. But it's like, I do it. Everybody got something to say. You know what I mean? They they kept telling me how stupid I was. It's like, I couldn't catch a break. And, um, I remember, um, I was I the my local library had these the I don't know if they still do it, but at the time they used to do this program like every top of the year you get to get your GED for free. They'll teach you, you know what I'm saying, you get your GED. I wanted to do that because I didn't receive no purpose of going back to high school. And um I was planning on doing that, but shit. I went back, you know, sat on my grandmother's bus because they stayed next door to, you know, our house at the time. Stayed right next door to us and sitting on the porch. And um, I remember my mama coming out of the house yelling at me. I don't know what for, but something petty. I can't really remember, but I know she was yelling at me. And um, my grandmother told me I was disrespectful. <laughs> Even though she said something to me, I didn't really say nothing disrespectful. I just was trying to talk while she kept yelling at me that's all but they said I was being disrespectful and um I remember my uncle coming back and you know my my um, uncle made a comment something like um cause you know every, most people in my family had they, they dropped out of school and um <laughs> and he was telling me that like he was basically telling me that I'm stupid because I dropped out for not liking the school. He was like, you just dropped out for no damn reason. Like, he felt the need to tell me that. And, um, yeah, man, that's that's how I was, man. I, I really didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't really care to see where I was coming from. They didn't know. They didn't care to ask why I did it. Well, I told them I didn't like the school. That's one of the reasons. But, shit, I got to, you know, which I really didn't tell them. But I don't think it would have made no difference because they wouldn't have cared anyway. I got to take care of myself. She ain't trying to take care of me. My daddy, he full of shit. He somewhere across town. You know, I might take care of myself. I don't want to sell no dope. Get locked up. Uh, trying to find a job at McDonald's at, you know, stuff like that at the time. Fast food restaurants. But they really wasn't hiring like that. Back in them days, they wouldn't. So, shit, that's how it was. So, anyways... I got tired of going through all of that, and I got tired of getting slack cut by people because it got to the point where other people, like the friends of the families around the neighborhood, they would see that I'm out of school, and then they would, like, tell me how, you know, stupid I am for doing it. (laughs) 
So eventually I got tired of hearing people myself. So I went back to school. And um I'm, I'm, this video can't be too long. I'm gonna make a part two.